Hi everybody, I'm back and excuse the stuff behind me. I was going to go over all my new makeup, which is crazy. Look at that. That is completely full. So yeah, that stuff from boxes and then I was going to go over just the, I think I've gotten three BoxyCharm um, boxes and I was going to sh kind of show you guys how everything sticks to a to a color. Um, it's just crazy. The Winter Wonderland. Um, whoops, I dropped my NARS. The Winter Wonderland, excuse me. Um, there was blue paper and blue shreddings and it's pretty much, it's crazy, but their boxes are just so darling. And I have never seen an eye, eye line, eyelash box that's in a drawer. It was so cute. Anyway, we're not here to talk about that. I'm just going to set this here for now. And then in my new office, I will not be having a bed, so that will be nice. Um, this was so cute. I, I just could not help myself. I was looking for a new makeup bag. I know I have a million makeup bags. I've tossed pretty much all of them. They're just too small for what I need. But I happen to see this. Yes, it has sequins on it. This is from Victoria's Secret. Pink and white, really cute. Look at how shiny that is. Now that just re screams my name. So there's the side of it. Now look at this. How cute is this? So it's got this on it, and you hang it from a door. Now how sanitary is that? So you can hang it from the back of a door. Um, this goes, the hanger goes sideways. You couldn't hang it over a door. I suppose you could, but it is so cute. You could put your toothbrushes, your makeup, you know, your brushes in one, your eyeshadows, your lipsticks, you know, and travel with this. It was so cute. And I think it was, what was the price on this? 34, which isn't bad. They had some regular ones with that were just striped. That didn't have the um, sequins on them, um, but when she opened this up, I, I she goes, this was the last one. She goes, I would buy it. She goes, if you don't buy it, I'm going to the clerk there, and I was like, well, I guess I better, <coughs> excuse me, get it. So each little zipper has a little stripes. That's kind of their emblem. Their so yeah, they had, <coughs> excuse me, they had some some uh, bags that were just clear with this. You know, the green, they had some with pink. Um, they just unzip. You can throw your makeup in, you know, just to make sure it stays clean, sanitized. Throw it in there. I'm going to do a packing video. I'm really good at packing tight stuff. Um, I have to do a couple loads of laundry, and then I thought I would bring it all in and do a pack real quick. I just take, I'm trying to take one suitcase, but. I don't know. Anyway, so you, you can see how things stay sanitary. You know, it's nice. You know what's, you know, you can put a little pea touch, eyeshadows, MAC, whatever, you know, but it's got one, two, three, four containers. So this won't be enough for all my makeup, but it's just, I just thought it was really, really cute. And it has buttons, so you just fold it up like this when you're done and button it. You, here, fold it up like this when you're done. You want to tuck your little thing inside and just button it. And it is closed. And then you got to hit, whoops, I didn't get it closed all the way. Whoops. Come on, Dana. You know you can do this. You just button each side. But this was the last one, and she said these were flying out the door. So I know a lady came and look, was looking at it, and I said, that's mine, politely. She goes, oh, okay. I said, I'm sorry. I said, if you really want it, you can buy it. She goes, no, you saw it first. But anyway, there it is. This one's not wanting to behave, but yeah, how cute is that? You can just carry it around, and from the side, it looks really neat. Both sides are like that. So there's that, the makeup bag. I just, I'm really into sanitary, especially when you're in hotel rooms. You just never know who's been there or what and how well it's been cleaned. So I want to make sure that all my makeup, I clean it all, take the anti-back wipes and everything. So, you know, it'd just be nice to keep your, um, even medicines, whatever, just keep it closed up in these. You know, you can put your lipsticks, 
your dazzle glasses, cream sheens. I went by MAC also. We'll talk about that in a second. You know, just put it all in there, and it holds a lot. It's crazy. That's two tubes of lipstick, so I could probably fit 30 tubes in there. So there's that. Let me fold this up, and I will show you the next. Um, the next thing. So we will put that back in the bag for now. Oh, I also got uh, the perfume that I reviewed the other day. They had those roller balls on sale. So here's the bag. I know you guys like to see this stuff. So uh, where is the roller ball? Here it is. So this is a new fragrance from VS. It's called. Um, Here's the perfume right here. I'm going to go over all this new makeup also. It's crazy. There's Lady Gaga fingernails. So here is the Victoria's Secret, Secret Forbidden. I reviewed this the other day. Um, the scent and everything. So I've got, to un I've got to unpack it out of here. I'm going to take this one with me and a couple others. So there's that. And then they had a little container, a pink um, metal container on the counter. They had the night one. They had the forbidden. Um, they had the Victoria's Secret fragrance, the very sexy um, that one, and then they had a, one other one. So I picked up the Victoria's Secret night, and it's um, eau de perfume. Eau de perfume. So um, the scents are it says own the night. Black plum is the, the top note. Velvet woods and luscious apple. So yeah. I thought it was called uh, Forbidden, but it's called Night. There it is. So, and it, I'm going to keep it sealed. Actually, I'll open it. I don't know how well roller balls, they don't seem to, the wax, the perfumies, not that I'm going from a different company, but the roller balls are good to keep in your purse just to kind of freshen up or, you know, I know that the scents, that spray seemed to hold better, but we shall try. This was ten dollars. She said they were normally, I think, twenty, eighteen. They were normally eighteen. There's the price, and I got it for ten. So I thought I might as well try it. Um, I don't want to mess up my nails, but if I have to, I will. Let me grab the scissors. So I wanted to take a a whiff of this and see what it smells like and then I got the cutest sweatshirt they had yoga pants that were really cute they were on the expensive side but you had to buy any pink product and I'll show you what I got for five dollars it's more of a summer item but we're getting closer to summer so I thought this was related to the forbidden they had a forbidden rollerball um, but no, this one's called Strictly Night, and it's black, it's black, per no, it's, no, it's painted black, so there it is, Night, you can see where it's, the, the jar is, there, the, not the jar, the rollerball container is painted black, and then it's got around the lid, black little, um, if I can get it open now, there we go, so, now I've found that the roller balls with a metal metal ball tend to put out more fragrance. I'm just going to put some on my hand. You can see how much came out. It's almost dripping. It smells fabulous. Really good. So you could probably mix the night with the forbidden. Um, it's really close in scent, I would say. So for, for ten dollars, not bad. But you had to make a pink purchase. So there's that. I would suggest everybody get out and get that makeup bag. That is that is a one of a kind. I've never seen one that just you un, unbutton it and it just falls open. That is really cool. So then I got this is really cute, really cute. So here it is. They had them in black, white, maroon, and then they had just a white one. So it looks kind of like a distressed um, shirt. It says pink up at the top like usual and uh, she had leggings on it looked really cute with a black sweater let me get the dog in there so then of course they do this 
she said it was a re or it was a return and I said I don't want to buy a return I want to make sure that it's clean she said no it didn't leave the store I guess it was in the back it was a hold that's what it was so they usually um, bunch their sleeves up so let me bunch it up bunch it up so you guys can see what it looks like so here's the entire sweater let me back up I've got my fortune cookie soaps on the ground so here's the entire sweater really cute sweatshirt and it would look really cute with leggings boots yeah so I will do a um, when we're on our trip show you guys there's the front they had one that was half white um, so yeah there's the stripes I got them I think this is a medium or large I like to wear them big it doesn't look like a nightgown on me. See the sleeves? And then the back, it says Love Pink 86. And then it's just got the stripes on it. It's really soft. I can see hanging around the, hanging around the house with the uh, leggings on. And you could actually run out to the store or whatever. So, yeah, this is a small petite. Crazy. Yeah, so this one's a small. If you can imagine that, a small. So, 86, I graduated in 88, but that has nothing to do with anything. I'm not sure why it says 86, but it's, I'm sure my husband can come up with somebody's number, like football or whatever. So, there's that. So, with any pink purchase today, you got a $5 shirt, a pink shirt, and this is a medium that says... Party Harder Spring Break 2014 Pink Nation, and this is like a shirt that you would want to put over your um, bathing suit or wear uh, one of those. It's in the bedroom, a pink cotton uh, bra, bralette. That's what they're called. I have one that's got uh, sequins on it that would look cute because it peeks out the side. The sleeves are so big, so you could always wear this underneath if you get hot. Take it off. This sweatshirt would even look cute going to the pool with a sarong around it. Um, just wear leggings. I know those are coming back in. It's really hard for me to accept because leggings, I never really got into them. I do have that pair that's kind of, I showed at Christmas, that's kind of um, different colors and stuff. I wear those a lot under my jeans to stay warm. But So yeah, this was $5. And then the sweatshirt was... the price so we all know that pink is kind of an expensive brand but it holds together well I have a lot the other day it's crazy I was in my closet this is a VS sweater I was in my closet I was actually almost in tears because I had so many clothes I'm like what am I gonna wear my husband's like what I said I have too many clothes and he goes usually it's the opposite you know I don't have enough clothes I was like, I don't know what to wear. I just grabbed a t-shirt and some jeans. I was thinking, uh, just a white t-shirt. I just felt like, I don't know. I have a thing with the perfect white t-shirt, and I finally found it. So, yeah, I will review that someday. I know that um, it costs a lot of money to find the perfect white t-shirt. I'm wearing it today. I absolutely love it. You can't, it's a long sleeve. You can find a, lo a short sleeve too, but that's a staple, I believe, in every wardrobe. You have to have the perfect white t shirt because it goes with everything. Anyway, not to talk your leg off. So there's that. Um, one, one other item I'm going to show you real quick. I don't even know if I reviewed this, but I'm going to show you anyway. So, and then I have a Macy's. I will do that later. This is goes with my boxy charm. That is an awesome. We'll not talk about that. Then I have this that has a really cute. Actually, I'm going to do this in a separate video. So I will be right back. Let me upload this awesome review. I think it's awesome. So yeah, this perfume smells fabulous. It's eau de perfume and it's point two. Two three ounces, so this should it went for ten dollars normally eighteen, so I saved eight dollars. So own the 
own the night. Black plum, velvet woods, and luscious apple. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will be back. I have lots of empties to go through. Empties. I was going to do empties of the year, but I just got too bogged down. So I will be right back. I will upload this. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the makeup bag. I think it's just crazy. I can't wait to stuff it. So maybe I'll show you what it looks like when I get it stuffed with all my Mac and stuff. So yeah, bath bombs, Mac, stuff like that. Bubble bars. I don't, oh, that's right. I don't, I don't take baths in hotel rooms. Anyway, thanks for watching. Love you all. Subscribe, subscribe, and I will be right back. Bye.